Hey guys, I'm Kyle with Servo City, and I want to talk to you today about the 785 series of servo power gearboxes. Um, I've got a whole line of power gearboxes that all use the 785 HB servo, which is a multi turn servo that retains the positioning feedback. So we'll get into the details here. First off, I've got a bottom mount servo power gearbox. Uh, this is going to be great if you want to mount something to a flat surface or a table. You can run screws right through the edge of it and bolt it down. Um, we have ratios from 2 to 1 all the way to 7 to 1 on this. And on a gearbox, the nice thing about this one is it's going to decrease the rotation of the 785, which can do about 8 turns. Uh, we've got a 7 to 1 ratio on this, so you're still going to get up to one full turn out of this if you send a wide enough PWM signal, which um, on the modern robotics controller sends about a range of 1500 microseconds from the minimum to the max. So you'll still get just over 360. The next one is going to be the top mount power gearbox. This is going to be if you want to cut a hole in something and drop this down and kind of flush mount it. Uh, it's used a lot in RC sailboats and stuff like that, but you can use it for your robot as well. Uh, this one has a 2 to 1 ratio, and it's real similar to this version, just the different mounting options. Uh, both of these are going to have the 3 8 inch stainless steel output shaft, and they're all supported by ball bearings. We've got dual ball bearings holding the shaft, so it's nice and solid. It isolates the load off of the servo, so you can put a big side load on this, and the servo really doesn't feel any of that. The next one that I have is going to be a tube gearbox. Uh, this version is made out of a rectangular extrusion and machined out, so it's a little bit lighter weight. Uh, it has the Actobotics hole pattern on the side, and then it also has an area for an end cap to go into on either end. That way, if you want to stand it up on your robot and bolt it down, you can do that. This version has a half inch shaft instead of a 3 8 inch shaft, but it's going to be used essentially the same way. The next version that I have is also going to be a tube gearbox, but this one you'll see has a 1 inch shaft going through it. So same height, same width as this in every way, but if you want to run some wires or um, you know, basically whatever you need through the center hole, you can do that without getting it tangled, and it makes for a nice clean build. This one I went ahead and put an end cap on there, so you're going to find that it has four tapped holes and it has six through holes. That way you can basically attach it to any part of the channel wherever you want. It's going to bolt right down. The last version I have here is going to be the channel mount gearbox. This is by far my favorite. Number one, it's very lightweight. Uh, all the, the sides are very thin and machined out. It's got holes all down the side that align to the channel. So you can just drop this down in the channel and you can bolt it in from the side that way. You can bolt it in this direction that way. So there's tons of different mounting options for this. Uh, so that's one really nice thing about it. Um, it's got a half inch shaft just like the tube gearbox that I talked about previously. Very, very solid. The, uh, the shaft is nice and recessed so you don't have anything protruding out of the backside to catch on or anything like that. Uh, this particular one is 5 to 1 ratio, but we have from 2 to 1 all the way to 7 to 1. So I've talked about the differences between each of these structures. Now I want to talk about the 785 servo which drives this gearbox. The 785HB is a quarter scale servo and it's not been modified in any way at all. So basically we just bolt it in. There are four screws that hold it in place in the gearbox and then we put a gear on it and that small gear drives the large gear in order to increase the torque and decrease the rotational rate. If you guys are interested in finding out exactly how much rotation you're going to get out of your servo before you install it, you can take your PWM range from your servo controller, for example the modern robotics controller, which I believe has a range from 750 to 2250 microseconds, and that's a difference of about 1500 microseconds. And so you can take the 1500 and multiply by 1.7 degrees, uh, because the servo rotates about 1.7 degrees per microsecond. Uh, so that's going to give you 2550, and then you can divide that number by the ratio on the gearbox. So at the 7 to 1, you'll still get a little over 360. There are many different uses for the 785 servo power gearbox. If you want to increase the torque of your servo to move something heavy on your robot, or if you want to increase the resolution or decrease the rotational rate, this is a great way to go. If you guys have any questions, be sure to email tech at servocity.com. Thank you.